way we work with Agnieszka, but also I've implemented this with other uh, directors I've worked with, is we keep the editing open when I begin my work. It's still open. I, I usually organize it so that I can join Agnieszka and her editor in, in her house in, in France and spend some 10 days or 12 days there with them together. And what happens is a back and forth. I, I make demos, uh, I bring them over to them, to the editing room, that's kind of next door, uh, and uh, they try it out. And sometimes, uh, especially if it concerns very rhythmical or very pulsating sequences, it, it turns out that it's better to edit to music than the other way around. So, in case, I think it was the case with the, with the uh, train ride sequence, to some extent. It was sort of put together when I saw it first. And I came with this, with this musical idea, which was, which was very uh, motoric and very kind of machine-like. And, um, and they, they put it to the picture and they started tweaking the picture a bit, so that it fits it even more. Because we wanted to have almost a sense of a musical video sequence. Uh, it was supposed to be perfectly matched. Uh, it's also a kind of a play with the, with the form and with, with, with the genre. It's stylized a bit uh, to, to make you think of sort of Soviet propaganda films from, from the 30s or 40s. Uh, which were very musical and often had brilliant music used for them.